Welcome to week 14. We are heading toward the end of the semester. Most of you have probably noticed that the most difficult assignment uh, in the final project falls this week. First, let me say that I have read and responded to your literature reviews uh, in the Grade Center. Please take a look at these and let me know if you have questions. Some of you uh, were confused about what a literature review is. I highly recommend that you look in websites and then in writing a literature review. There are several resources uh, in that folder. So this week we have several assignments. Begin by clicking on assignments and then weeks 14 and 15. The most important and per, the most difficult, perhaps the most difficult assignment in the course is the cross tabulations or part two of the final project. So I'm going to walk you through this really, really quickly. Um, first, go to the SDA survey documentation and analysis, and then to the data file. Let's take a look at, remember we want to use discrete variables. Discrete means that the values for the variable fall neatly into identifiable categories. So for gender, the values would be male, female. For uh, religion, the values would fall neatly into uh, the various religions of the world. Just for illustrative purposes, uh, I'm going to walk you through using uh, education and then one of the controversial social issues. So click on this little bar next to education. Then in order to make the variable move into that little box, just click on here, we're going to use the respondent's highest degree. We're using this as the independent variable, so let's put it in the row. And now let's select an, a dependent variable. Uh, I'm going to select one from controversial social issues, and I think I'll look at gender issues. Here's one. Uh, women should take care of the home, and I'm going to click here. Now, if you want to know more in more detail what that variable is, you can, I'm going to move this up just a little bit so you can see it, click on view, and it will show you, this is, do you agree or disagree with this statement, when do, women should take care of running their homes and leave the country, running the country up to men, ha. Huh. So, um, now I'm going to put this in the column since it's our dependent variable. For my output options, clicking here, remember that we always want a percentage in the direction of the independent variable, so click on row and de-click on a column. And then again, moving down so you can see what we're doing, chart options, we want the bar chart. So now click on run the table, and you will see very clearly in the output variable that, in fact, there is a relationship between uh, the level of education and whether or not the respondents agree or disagree with the item. The higher the level of education, the more likely the respondent is to disagree with the item that women should take care of the home. Then, likewise, the, type, the uh, graph was uh, generated. So when you have completed this piece of it, this is the cross-tab assignment make a JPEG image of it or some kind of image of it and save it, submit it in your, in the upload feature, upload part two. You're finished for week 14. Remember that your, your final project needs to hang together so your literature review should connect to the variables that you have selected your variables, it's really a quite, as you can see, it's really quite simple. So not until next week will you need to prepare the full, uh, the full draft, although at least one of you has already completed that. Thank you very much. Maybe that person will share it with you. You have one uh, discussion form for uh, week 14. You'll be beginning your reflection. So good luck this week. Contact me with any questions, and I'm looking forward to seeing your final projects. We are almost there.